Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Etc. I'm here today to talk to you about Fairy Tale Chapter 442. And the chapter's fairly simple. The first bit is the first half is really just Natsu, Grey, Lucy, as uh, they have taken care of like, the our very soldiers. And then after that, as is like, yeah. They might send more people. We need to stay on high alert. But her and Natsu are just chilling at this. Uh, it's a sweet stand, I do believe, and they're just yeah, they're just chilling with this guy from the sweet stand is eating sweets, and they're supposed supposedly on high alert, and they're just they're eating sweets, and then they're just talking to this guy from the stand, and he's just saying he's from Ishgar, and I don't really think what he's saying is too too important for the story but yeah he's just saying he's, he's from Ishgar he's trying to get back to Ishgar he plans to have like the best sweet uh, the mango whatever it's called store in Ishgar I think it was and yeah he's just chatting some crap I don't think it was really important but, th but then out of nowhere his store break his store um like it's, it's destroyed and we're introduced to this guy from like the various, he's from our various squad, I can't remember what the squad was called and I can't remember what this, what this guy's name was uh, I'll know it for next chapter I promise and yeah but he just introduced and what we get from him is that we find out that his magic I don't, I'm not even sure what it is but from what we see in this chapter we know that his magic can negate any other type of magic that uses space we see that from this chapter that he can negate the, uh, the negate the magics of both Urza and Lucy so they couldn't summon the celestials Lucy couldn't summon her celestial spirits Urza couldn't re-equipped armor or get any weapons what we also get from his magic is that we get to learn that he can also manipulate space as well we see that how he does a lot of warping in this chapter when yeah he does a lot of warping in this chapter and this comes after when he himself transports Urza and Lucy into another like dimension we see a lot of warping from him as well when Natsu and Grey try to take him take him out for like making Urza and Lucy disappear so we see a lot of warping as well so his magic is fairly uh, I forgot the words I'm looking for, but there's a there's a lot of things he can do with his magic. He's for the for this chapter, he's quite an interesting character, and the fact that he didn't just automatically get one shotted or just easily beaten by Natsu or Grey or Urza or anybody is quite fascinating to see. So I'm happy with this character this character so far, and from what we find out in this chapter. Like he's not, he's in the Alviri's army, but like he's not top tier. Well, we don't know this for sure, but he he he's not. It doesn't seem that he's top tier. He's like, like obviously we have the Alviri soldiers, and they'll be like for the level. This seems to be like maybe level one, if you will. And if level one is this strong, then what's like the top? These <laughs> what's the top guys gonna be like? Like the twelve Spragans, I think it was called. What are they gonna be like when they hop into the fray? How are they? It's just making me think that yeah, this situation for Vader might not run smoothly. And if that's the case, yes, I'm sick and tired of all these one shots and just easy victories. It's, I want to see a real struggle, and it looks like we're we're gonna get that so <laughs> um, I'm happy for that if that's what the case is gonna be and that's really all the chapter is we also like we see that how this guy's magic can also like stop he can stop Mest's teleportation we see that in the chapter as well when this guy he brings back Mest when he supposedly teleported away and as the chapter ends, we get to we're introduced to another our various squad member from the same squad that do you think this guy is from? And like we can just see fear in Natsu and Grey's eyes because the chapter does says that they sense the magic of her or something like that. Sense the level of level of magic that she has, and like we can just see the fear 
in the eyes so that also makes me to believe that these guys are strong but they're not the top tier of our theory so what's their power levels going to be like and it's just yes come on come on a decent like a decent fight a decent struggle fair to please 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 but yeah <clears throat> That's the chapter. There's not not much more to say on that. We'll just see what happens next week. Apparently, the chapter did say that next week we're getting thirty one page a thirty one page chapter and a color cover or something like that. So next chapter of fairy tale is going to be long. Hopefully, it's a good one. Hopefully, it's decent. And yeah, we'll just see about that. So because right now, Lucy Lucy is out there gone. Mest is basically out for the count and yeah it's just Natsu and Grey versus these two are various guys and Wendy's gone off to take that kid to the to their dad but obviously Wendy's the Wendy's a dragon slayer so she might just smell the trouble and she might be back quick so I don't know but can uh, can Natsu Grey and Wendy can them three alone take these two are various guys yeah, I don't think so like it shouldn't be the case but We'll see you next chapter. So like always guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day. You know what I'm back in it. <laughs> the rating is going to be a three star. It's a three star chapter. Average chapter of fairy tale. Not much happened. Didn't like it. Didn't hate it. Three star. So, like always, guys, I'm asking you for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.